Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down arena. We're going to continue our journey here through ranked play with some of our, of our new uh, War of the Spark additions to the Merfolk gang. Uh, see what we need to do and change as the meta changes here. So uh, we've got Skydiver in here and we've got uh, Giant Growth as a replacement for Titanic Growth. Uh, this is a very good keepable hand though. Starting to see all the gods get play. Uh, Kefnet is a god that's seen a lot of play in blue right now. Alright. Interesting. Rock and roll. Hmm, can I blame that on two, huh? Fair enough. We got lots of skydivers, which is nice. I think we're just gonna play Mistbinder here. Start setting up for some nice attacks in the next few turns. No blocks. Let's go Skydiver. We're going to go ahead and put it on our Mist Cloak. Good hits. Island, good. Set up for a big turn. Choose a creature type. Uh, as long as you use... What are they selecting? Spirit. Okay, so... Do we have spirits now in uh, standard? Alright, yeah, they... Okay. <laughs> yeah, we would have got them. I kind of was curious about that deck, though. I'm wondering if uh, spirits are coming back in standard right now. Alright, let's run it back. Keep her going. Dude, he looks goofy on that picture. Uh, well, it's not a bad hand, it's not a great hand, but we do have some protection and Siren Storm Tamer, so we'll keep it. We need to draw into another island would be nice, though. Playing mono, or are we playing is it? Hmm, interesting. Maybe the other two here. Siren Storm Tamer down. Hmm. I don't want to lose him quite yet. We need to keep setting up here. Very well die this turn anyways, so... We'll see what happens. I'm gonna pass. Skydiver's gonna drop. I think we'll put the counter on Miss Cloak still. Ooh, they sent up for a double shock here. Well, it'll resolve. And we'll drop another one. Skydiver is open to some removal, so it's Miss Cloak Herald. Everything is, really. There we go. That's fine. I'd rather keep that anyways. Merfolk, we need to get some card draw going. For sure. Passing my turn. I will right, we'll play the trickster. Skydiver is useful. I think we'll diversify a little bit more. Board's looking good. Has 
Okay, making a making a gnarly guy here. Well, we're gonna kill him. Get him off the battlefield. Listen to them roar. Go to damage. Impossible. And we'll pass to them and we'll proliferate at end of turn. That's fine. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Submit two. There we go. Alright, cool. <laughs> Very cool. Dragon's not so scary. Dragon deck's gonna be coming up here too, I'm sure. It might have been what they're aiming for, but I could get pretty gnarly, so we had to take out the planeswalker fast. Alright, let's see. We're at six minutes. Alright, let's roll one more. This might be a shorter video today, but wow, this is the first time we've actually gotten like three games in in a while. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh, sure. Yeah, we'll keep that. Good old Kumena. Ooh. That's nice, too. We'll take the opportunity to play that. Hit for three. We'll have Dive Down and Curious Obsession online next turn. Sapling. All right. Not a big deal. I'm just going to do this. If they double block the Mistbinder, we'll River Herald's Boon. Um, but they don't. We're still going to River Herald's Boon. They're on the clock. Hold up the dive down. Ooh. As long as it's... Uh, okay, prevent all damage during your turn. Means vigilance and just exile target non that permanent. Okay. Very interesting. Doesn't matter much to this turn. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play the curious just to get this guy a little bit more beefy. Mm -hmm. I'm not super worried about him right now. Maybe I should be, but I guess I should be becomes a 4-4 creature when the board is a little bit clear. Alright, we'll, we'll attack him anyways. He doesn't concern me that much right now, though, but we'll, we'll get him out of the way at least. His sapperlings becomes a 4-4. Gonna swing. He's gonna swing. Fine by me. What are you gonna play? Need to bring out some kind of other creature here. I'll create two. Mm, okay, that's good. That is good. Exit target not. Exile target not on permanent. Hmm.
We're going to go for them one more time here because they may be tempted to double block the Mistbinder. If that's the case, we'll dive down. It doesn't look like they're going to. Okay. Fair enough. That's annoying. It's fine. Still getting hit for quite a lot. Jeez. Ah, why are we not drawn into anything? I can't worry about him anymore. I just gotta go for the face at least or something. It's just not looking pretty. Where's my unblockables when I need them? How come we haven't drawn into any more gas here? It's ridiculous. If we were drawing into a pump spell, I'd be holding back and... Well, let's see. Now it's prevent all damage from getting in during your turn. He's hard to take out, man. They got a good setup, a good defense on him. That's for sure. And now they're just gaining life. No. Where is my gas? This is ridiculous. All right, well we can uh, we can kill him at least now, uh, so that's good. We have to send both towards him though. No, now we can't. Now we're just now we're just dead. Now we're just really screwed. Jeez, oh pizza. Well, that defense was fantastic, I'll tell you what. That was awesome. Good defense on their part for him. He's hard to kill. With every, all the stuff they have in their hand, just building a little army, protect them, swing in. Could have held back, but what are you going to do? You can't even kill them on their turn, so that's interesting. Oh, good game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the games. Uh, leave a like if you like uh, watching the new Murful content with the new playable cards from War of the Spark. If you're having fun with the War of the Spark, leave a like on the video. And make sure to subscribe. We're doing some more booster cracking videos coming up at the end of the week. i got another pre-release kit and a booster box to open up. So stay tuned for that. And we will see you guys in the next video.